Welcome back to Felsbrunn on Farming Simulator 19 for episode 11 with me, Mr. Sealy P. So where are we now? We are on field 12. We are doing a sewing contract which is actually almost finished. I think it's on 94%. Uh, I ran out of seed so I had to go back over and just put a little bit in because it's not going to need all of this. And this will be um, field 12 seeded and complete. I have um, swapped fields and I'll explain that in just a minute. I've got the harvester working on field 18 which is the one next to field 19 and 20 that, that we own that have got soybean in. Um, I did some grass around field 29-ish I think just opposite the farm. Um, gee, where are we looking? 98, yeah we're not far off. It will just start doing down this last pass and that will finish. Um, the uh, field 15 is harvested, all of the sunflower is off that and I've got that in a trailer at the main farm. That's ready to go down to Port South East um, to be sold. Uh, so yeah, I'm not looking too bad. I've got three three full uh, bales from the sheep but I keep thinking they're 2,000 litres and they're not, they're only 1,000 on FS19. So I look at the price and think, well that's not too bad but of course it's it's a lot cheaper. The wool price isn't great at the moment, so I might just move those out of the uh, out of the wool pallet point and just put them to one side for the time being until the price improves. This should be almost done. There we go. Don't need to do any more. Won't get anything more for it. 412 litres left in there. Um, am I, yeah, I'll take it back and unload it. I bought a couple of pallets, I think I've got four, but I think one's only got a little bit in it. No, three, or whichever. One's got a little bit in it, or two have, and the other two are full. But I can't remember, I don't know which ones are which, because I kind of pushed them all into one one big lump in the middle. But anyway, this will go back. We'll complete the contract on this. We should have this, probably some more cultivating, um, and then... Generally speaking, after a little bit, now field 12 has been seeded, I did a sowing contract on field 6, and um, about 20 minutes after I did it, a fertilising job came up on it. So the fertilising jobs are appearing. You know, I said in the last episode they, they weren't, I didn't know where they were, and they are appearing. They're just uh, taking their time to get there. keep moving to check hours played and I've been asked that a couple of times and I keep saying I will and I keep forgetting because um, I was going to say you know for the videos it seems like we're making rapid progress and to be fair we are to be far to be fair we are making fairly rapid progress but I'm having to put in a lot of time it's not this is not a quick fix um, if you're interested or want to know how to make uh, how to kind of build up your farm um, there are loads of people out there doing it um, and I wouldn't necessarily say the way I'm doing it is the right way or wrong way and the problem with that question being asked is there are so many ways to start your farm now there are so many different modes so many different settings and you can start your farm in a multitude of ways people keep asking uh, what's a quick way to make money there aren't really uh, any quick ways as such anymore i say anymore at the moment you know until we get a, a map out that's got pr like proper logging on oh it's like a proper forest maybe having a go at uh, forestry might make you some quick money cotton makes you good money soybean makes you good money silage bales do depending on the it's the same with all of it it depends on the price because the prices fluctuate so there is no one way there's no hard and fast rule for this um but I'm having to put the hours in. It, this isn't. I haven't been playing for four hours, and all of a sudden I'm on five hundred thousand with all the equipment I've got. It's taken a while to get to this point, really. Um, but it's, I'm hoping I'm kind of showing how we can do it. So anyway, this is what I was going to say. Uh, that's done now, so I can collect on that payment ten thousand. There you go. Fertilising job on field ten, which I did a little while ago, and I've got a sewing job on field thirteen. Um, so both of those will pay out quite well. What I think I'll do is I'll accept the contract on the fertilising now. Not that it's going to disappear or drop off, but that's on. 
So if I go across now to here on my map, I see field 12 is now done. 13, it's got a fertilizing contract. Right, so field 15 I harvested, got the sunflower off. Field 15 was 225,000 that piece of land was worth. If I go to field 18, which is next to the farm, that was 180. So what I did was finished what I was doing on field 15 and thought if I buy the field next to the farm, I can potentially extend 19 and 20 and make it into one big field. So in selling that field 15 and buying field 18, I ended up making 40 grand simply because one field was 40, 45 grand more than the other one, it, you know. So we're up to 497,000 now. And while I'm here at the store, I'm going to buy my new tractor. Now this isn't, I'm not going massive. On Ravenport, I jumped up to, I think I bought a, an 8R, an 8400 John Deere. Um, that's not my intention here. Overnight, I bought the Man TGS 18500. Uh, 500 horsepower, 4x4. Four four. That's been pretty good for hauling stuff around the map fairly quickly. Um, that will tow all sorts of stuff and pull all bits of equipment and various different things. Help H the full green tank right to, to go over there. So field 18 that I've just bought has got corn in. So I'm harvesting the corn on that. And then I'll see what work needs to be done on that field to prep it. When the soybean is done on field uh, 19 and 20, I'll harvest the soybean again. Then I'm going to plough out the gap between the two, between the three actually, and make that into 18, 19, 20 as one big field. Um, so right next to the farm. And even if I just keep putting soybean in that, and then when I'm making money, buying up other ones and you know, however I want to do it, um, it really doesn't matter. But anyway, yeah, tractor. Yeah, I'm not going massive. I'm replacing the Fiat, but I'm going with something a little bit bigger. So the Fiat was under small tractors uh, the 1300 DT 150 horsepower which is really really good plenty of oomph to it now if we go down to the medium tractors on Ravenport I've got the 7200 I've got 7250 which is 261 horsepower I think something like that um, which is brilliant really really nice but what I wanted and what I've wanted for a little while I said about a Deutsch for a while back I'm going to get a JCB because it's quite quick as well so for moving around the map and doing stuff around the map um, it's quite rapid so I think I'm going to go with that. Only downside to it is it's set. The horsepower's set at 235 horsepower. Um, I can't do anything with that. So if we click on here, I can change from trailer to Nokians, but I'm going to keep it on trailer -borgs. I am going to go to wides, and I am going to put a front loader attacher on because that's going to be really, really handy around the yard. It's going to be quick for moving stuff about. 235 horsepower is going to be pretty good. Um, can't odds that. 199.5 that's going to come in at which seems quite expensive and there are i know people say there are cheaper alternatives you could have had this you could have had that absolutely i know that there are loads of different alternatives i could have gone with this is the one i want um this has got all wheel steering as well i believe if i remember correctly so our new purchase i can collect it at the store wonderful now we should still have a bit of money left uh, 297,000 and the good thing with that is um, oh it's nice looking I like that I do like it with the wides on with the with the normal ones on the only downside to this is I can't put narrows on it it's either the wides or the standards but it goes pretty quick nice looking bit of kit I'm happy with that um, is that I'm going to get another trailer. Um, I'm going to get rid of one of the trailers I've got, but keep one. I'm going to keep the SEK802 because I can make that into a flatbed for carrying wall pallets and stuff like that. Um, the other one I'm going to get rid of because now I've got the um, the truck, the semi, um, the man TGS, I can use um, uh, a semi uh, back to it. Again, I'm not going to go mad, but I'm going to get, I think... I'm going to get the uh, KS950. Um, it's 48,000 litres, which is more than I've got at the moment. I used on Farm Simulator 17 the Cramp SB230. Well, that's a slightly different version, but it was 59,000 litre. I've used that a lot. Um, there's the distinction, which I quite like, actually. 74,000, though. Those are mainly... Um, 
uh, silage wagons as such but they will take other things other than silage but forage I think forage wagons um, and that's not for a semi so the cramp KS 950 I think I'm going to go with that 62 to 74 it's only 12,000 difference isn't it so I go with the load king distinction you know what let's go different why not oh and I can change the colour as well change colour oh ok maybe not uh, let's go black oh I don't know no let's keep that the colour it was design colour that's more like it so that can match up with the truck and then rim colour we'll go phantom black Ooh, fancy uh, and that's that 75 grand 75 five okay so let's get that again expanding the farm more purchases bigger equipment and means I can now sell oh that looks nice doesn't it I can now it's, I know it's a it's a more it's an American you know it's an American truck uh, trailer but I want something a bit bigger but it's quite cool so anyway enough of that enough of that let's get back because we now need to get the semi over here I need to sell the um, sunflower this is going to go a bit quicker which is going to be brilliant so I'll take this to sell the sunflower I'll bring the semi over here to grab the trailer I'll go and empty the harvester that's on field 18 I did do some bales like I say around 29 I've done the bales around field 29 much quicker than fit <laughs> swing that round we are definitely seeing an increase in vehicles and machinery around the yard what I am going to do as well sell a couple of these bits and I think I'm going to get some more sheep So that will go and pick up the uh, Load King trailer. We'll do that in a minute. But what we'll do is we'll grab this and we'll go and sell it. I'm pretty sure the best price is down at Port South East. Yeah, all wheel steering. I like that. Nice feature. There we go. Cover on. Beacons on. Let's get this sold. So once the price comes back up on silage bales, I'm, I'm going to make a killing. I mean, I will make a lot of money off all the ones I've been doing. And it's well worth the extra time. Overnight when I've got a contract going and I might be doing a harvest on a field... Um, whatever it is, whatever the contract is I'm doing in the off time get out and make a load of silage bales, you know, or if you've got enough of your own fields, you can be working on your own fields whatever it is you decide to do um, and kind of multitask your way through it, but having all those silage bales, I don't want to overload the map too much, I think I've got quite a lot um, so yeah I don't really want to do any more at the moment, I want to give a lot of the fields a chance for the grass to grow back as well as I've been kind of uh, pillaging a little bit stripping back the natural resources which does make getting around the map so much faster <laughs> I say I love the sound of the fit absolutely brilliant, sounds wonderful, looks brilliant just a little bit too slow I think what I might do as well at some point when we've got the money um, we'll upgrade our fence um, and we'll get a bigger fence we'll stick with fence but we'll get a bigger one um, but that will be when we've got a little bit more money because I do want to get a bigger harvester and you know, all the things you you gradually kind of you know you build up as you go along so this will be the trader I'm going to sell I'm going to keep the other one because I can make that into a flatbed. Because now I've got an abundance of trailers, I'm not really going to need it. 
Now I could get an auger wagon um, for getting the crops from the harvester to the lorry, which I could do, couldn't I? Yeah. Should make a nice little bit of money on this. So, 43,000. 43,381. That's a big chunk towards the new trailer we just bought. I mean, that's. Yeah, that, once I sell this trailer as well, I'm not going to get a huge amount for this trailer, but that will be pretty much that new big trailer paid for. So, I'll take this back. I'll sell this trailer. We'll go over to field 18. I will check on the sheep situation because I'm hoping then before the end of this episode I'll get some more sheep. Now that pen will only hold 80. I don't want to put too many in because then obviously as you, the more you put in the higher the reproduction rate the faster they reproduce and the faster you then fill up. If I put 80 in there there's no room for them to reproduce. Um, so I don't want to put 80 in there. And I know if I put 75 in, that'll increase the uh, reproduction rate. But I don't really want to buy another pen, because it means buying another plot of land to put another pen on, which then means I can't really use the plot. Just got to put another pen on it. Um, which I could do if I'm going to make this into a sheep farm as well. I suppose I could go with the larger sheep pen. Now I'm making money, uh, and not bad money either. I could get the larger sheep pen, I suppose. I could then transfer the sheep over and then sell the one I've got. I won't make much money, but I'll get a little bit of land back, maybe. They're all options available, that's the thing, isn't it? It's, a, it's you know, and that's what I think's brilliant. Well, I've said it right from the start, is that the fact that we've got this new system in place and not, not everyone's liking it, not everyone's enjoying it, a lot of people are still having glitches and problems and blue screening and, you know, and a lot of people have jumped back to 17. I know I've said that a few times, but what I still think is fantastic, and I know madly enough I've stuck to the, the sort of default start point here on this map but the fact that everyone playing it will have a completely different setup now you know a different place or even if they've stayed at this place they'll have put things in different positions or used different bits of equipment and I've just realized I've driven past the store and not sold the trailer never mind right so I'll get over there and do that and I'll uh, I'll get back to you when we're unloading over on field 18 sorry I'm chatting again Okay, I will get a loading wagon at some point. I've also just realised, having just bought field 18, I've got all the grass around that as well, haven't I? So if I wanted to do more silage bales, I could. I'm going to... I'm going to come onto the field this time. Let's get the cover off. This is the one that's got two bays. It's got two separate sections with two unloading points. It's got one trap there and one trap there. And when you use this one, this is the one you have to do... Um, the same as you would do when you switch from tip side back, tip side grain door, tip side left, right, on that kind of thing. This one has tip side back, and oh, actually we'll check that. And that's how you unload each section, because I couldn't work out, I used one of these on a contract. I couldn't work out why it wasn't working, and that was that was why. But I want all this one in the front one, there we go. So it's not a bad size field, this one. Add that to what we've got, um, and I'm just thinking, well, that's unloading, or loading, whichever way. The harvest is unloading, but it's loading the trailer. Um, I can kind of sweep this up from the corner of what we've got already and kind of come across this grass a bit, so we can kind of plough across and bring it up to join here, and in the top corner as well, 
Yeah, make it a right big old field. And I could keep them separate. That would give me more options to do separate crops. So if I was, if I had pigs or something like that, and I needed lots of different crops, wrong vehicle. I needed different crops to feed them. Um, that would be an ideal solution. Um, I could then have separate crops in each field, and that wouldn't be an issue at all. But because I'm not running pigs, I'm got um, got sheep, and they just need grass or hay. Um, that's not an issue at all. I can then spend most of the rest of my time on field work, arable um, things, arable crops. That's, that's arable, isn't it? But you know what I mean. Go. Okay, that front um, corn header is still leased. And like I say, it's very narrow. TX32, again, it's another one of those ones on like, Farm Simulator 17. Most maps you started off with a very bog standard small harvester. And it was enough to get you going into the game. Um, but as you start to expand, you realise very, very quickly you need a bigger harvester. I mean, that kind of goes without saying. So I think my next purchase, now I've got the truck and trailer, I've got the JCB, I've got the Chrome Big M, uh, I've got the Baylor Wrapper. Um, I'm, I'm increasing the amount of equipment I've got. Um, I think a harvester um, improvement is going to be what needs to come next. So when the price goes up on the silage, I will dump all those silage bales, and I think a harvester is going to be the next purchase. Well, I've, I've got I've got a front loader attachment, which I didn't have front loader, bizarrely enough. I don't know if I had one, lost it, don't know what I did with it. But this attachment on the front is the new attachment that came as the update with the big bag pack. And I kind of overlooked it, really. Um, I know it said on the, the mod hub that there'd been an additional piece of equipment. But if we scroll across to the lizard big bag tools, the 1300XL... Uh, the 1500 you've now got this the lizard universal bag lifter and you can have that for a front loader or telehander depending on what you want and i tell you what it's brilliant those sidebars stop it swinging the back plate holds the bag nice and tight tightly and i can get nice and high on this weirdly enough i found with the red telehander that i bought um it uh it doesn't get enough height off the bag to get the bag over the lip of the um, the spreader which is very peculiar so with this one you um, line up with it because I thought I was trying to hook the bag up I kept trying to I was trying to tilt this and get the hook under it but actually with this one it kind of connects so as you get up to it like so you pick it up the bag swings into place lift it up I love the fact the bag just it kind of sits there very nicely in that little cradle cool i thought i'd do this because i need to uh, i took on that fertilizing contract and got so sidetracked doing other bits and bobs i completely forgot um i also got the front loader forks because i thought if i've got a tractor with front loader um and forks on it as well as well as the telehandler if one or the other is busy it means i can use the other one for um loading and unloading you know doing the pallets and i haven't got to take the telehandler away from another job it's doing i say another job at the moment it's just sitting in the uh sitting in the sheep feed area but when it comes to doing this i was bringing it over here to load up the big bags but i don't need to do that now because i've got this nifty little attachment you can convert it over so i can switch it backwards and forwards if i want to um i'm going to get the front loader uh, the front loader the Forks because I'm going to load the uh, I'm going to load the wall pallets onto the SEK. I've converted that so that's now on a flat bale trailer. So I bought these. I seem to have forks and spikes and see that's the front loader bag hook. I leased that. But actually, I probably don't need that now. Anyway, right. That said, let's stop that there. Lights off. Drop it down. Stored energy. Remember. Don't leave it up. Something happens. Right. I need to go to... Where was my contract? Field 10. Plenty in here now. 
perhaps you'll see me right for two or three fertilising jobs. Uh, which way should I go? Let's go this way. See if I can gauge this about right. What do I reckon? About there? <laughs> we'll soon see, won't we? Let's open that out. But I'm way off. And hire a worker. I do have access to this land. How dare you? No, too far. Not by much. Tractor's width should do it. There we go. I think we're catching it all now. That pillar's right in the way. I can't see the edge. Never mind. Right, that's getting on with that. Fantastic. Now I know you don't get much for corn. I think at the moment it's running at just over a thousand. A couple of the places the price is dropping, a couple it's going up. But the yield's pretty good so far. Oh yeah, not quite in place. There we go, that'll do. I still can't go over the textures, it's brilliant. You only, it really kind of hits you every now and again. You kind of play away and you do something. Then the light will reflect off of something mirrored or shiny or aluminium or you know whatever it might be brushed steel or you know chromed and you suddenly think wow uh, they really have done a great job on it there you go a little bit of a glint off the uh plate there Brilliant. So what I have found quite handy is toggling the steering mode on this so that when you're on the road you only have uh, the front wheel steering and then when you get into the yard or somewhere where you want to be able to manoeuvre around a lot tighter uh, is it R1 and L3 no that's crab crab the other way all wheel there we go because um, I find with all wheel steering if, because this goes quite quickly as well if you're on the road and you try and turn it turns very very quickly so I think just having it front wheel steering only on the road makes life a little bit easier so let's get these gauging this just right always proves to be a bit of a game so that one's full actually I should have put it on the other way shouldn't I Will I be able to reach from the back? Hmm. I should be able to get two on side by side, shouldn't I? Fingers crossed. Okay. Oh yeah. No problem at all.
I'm liking this JCB already. I knew I wanted one. I probably will get a big one of the bigger ones as well. Uh, the 80 thingy, 8400. No, what is it? It is, and it's, it's again, I love it. I just think that's really, really cool. Slot count's high, that's the only thing with it. Yeah, the 8330. 348 horsepower, again, not massive, not high. 26 slots, actually, that's not too bad. But this is the same thing again. If we look at this in here and we put it on uh, Michelin's, oh, which are wide automatically, it does look really, really cool. Big old beastie. I like that a lot. And that will do 43, so that's even faster than the other one. It's weird, the other one says 38, but it does 40. That says 43, so I don't know what that will do. It might do 45 or... I don't know, maybe it is 43, but um, yeah, very cool, I do like the JCBs a lot. Um, anyway, sorry, sidetracked again, there's the prize. Caught the side of it, and that's better. Let's get that on. One there, one there. Yeah, it's not quite to the back, is it? But it'll do. And I think I might lease the animal trailer again. Uh, was over and get some more. Get this production increased somewhat. Busy nights followed by busy days. Actually, to be fair, I bought the, the deck chairs, the chairs for uh, sleeping overnight, and I haven't slept. <laughs> I haven't on Ravenport either. I've worked through the night on both of those. I haven't really, uh, haven't really stopped. So I think having a like hundred and eighty thousand pound farmhouse would have been a complete waste of money. Oh, contract on field ten is finished. Bear with me one second. Just had to stop it. I don't want to be wasting any more than is necessary. So ten thousand three hundred and two. Let's collect on that. Uh, so we've got another sewing one there. Let's say a few cultivating ones, which I think I might just be able to do very, very quickly, get them done. And that will give me some more options. There we go, field 16, 3000. That's not too bad. I'm trying to stay away from these, the, the potato and sugar beet harvesting, because they, they take a long time. There's another one there. Yeah, stay away from those. Um, where was that one? Cultivating on field 16. Which one's field 16? Sorry, I've got sidetracked again, but that's not a problem. Field... Oh, 16. There you go. Uh, at the end of the day, I can I just leave it running in the background. So, get that going. And then that field will then need sewing. Although I've got a couple of sewing contracts I could be getting on with, haven't I? Oh, just one. Yeah, I'm going to get that cultivated. Why not? Uh, cultivate field 16... Hang on a minute. Why? Right. That's cultivating. That's cultivating. If I go down to field 16 cultivating, it's not offering me any equipment. How weird. Maybe the farmer doesn't own any. I have got a cultivator, but... I don't really want to tie up a, a tractor. Oh, that's annoying. Oh, let's do field 14 instead then. Doesn't matter. 
is what it is. Um, I'll just let's see where field 14 is first, shall we? I've just accepted it and I don't know where it is. Oh, there we go. Oh, that's not too bad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool, right. Let's load this up. Make sure we're lined up. Right. I think we are, yeah. No, we're not. Just caught the side of it. Cool, that'll do. Right, that's those loaded. So what I'll do now is off screen I'll get that done, I'll get the cultivating going on field 14 which is over that direction there I think, over there. Um, and then we'll sort out and get some more sheep, I don't know if we'll be far off the ep end of the episode then. I'm motoring through stuff at the moment uh, and I'm also turning around too quickly. Right, okay, let's get on with that. Tell you what, for this job it's going to be a very, very nice black Valtra. Lovely. Don't know if I would have gone with bright white wheels, but... Sixty-six hours already on it. Once that plough starts to wear down a little bit, what I might do... Is, on the, some of the bigger fields, as the equipment does start to wear, generally speaking, I will go into the menu Right, well, that's getting on with that. Brilliant. Fair old pace as well. It's a nice size cultivator there. It's a bonus stack. I like the fact that while you're doing contract work, because you're using different equipment and different things, um, you kind of you get to use bits of equipment and get a feel for what they're like, the size of them, how fast they operate, and it's all well and good looking at the stats, looking at the menu, but it's a good way of trying out different stuff, and then you can kind of make more of an informed decision when you come to uh, come to buy something yourself. Mind you, I bet that needs a bit of horsepower. What's it come under? Let's have a quick look on that as well. Might as well be informative as well. Let's try, where are we? Further over. It's not a disc I think it's actually a cultivator, isn't it? Oh, maybe not. No. Nope. Could be... No, oh, it's got to be a disc then. There's only two in the power harrows. Oh, there you go. The Carrier XL X25, 75,000 to buy, 340 horsepower. Okay, that's not too bad. 8.3 metre. That's not a bad size, that. And we jump up 340, 360, 400 horsepower. Okay, cool. On the way to the store to pick up the animal trailer. Um, I just finished off the cultivating contract that was on field 14. And I've just taken on the fertilising contract on field 12, which pays 11,000, I think it is. And luckily, they had a, an animal trailer available. I went to the black this time. Black coating. I suppose that is it. Oh, it might just be painted. Well, maybe a black powder coat or something, I don't know. We've got the Miss City P Green Roof. Lovely. Right, so let's go and get some, uh, let's go and get some more sheep. We can increase productivity, improve the reproduction rate, and everything will be fantastic. I've finished off the harvest on field 18. So all the corn is off that, and it's sitting in the... Um, is it Distinction? I can't remember the name of the trailer. Anyway, it's in the back of the, the uh, semi-trailer. I managed to fill the front compartment pretty much, um, didn't have to put anything in the back compartment. I think I've got about 20,000 litres in it or something, 22. So we'll take that to be sold at some point. Um, the bales have been removed that were around the side of this field here, 29, I keep saying 29, 28, oh, it's 28, 29, right on top of each other. They're just there to the right. 
So if I do any more bailing, any point bailing wrapping, which I might do around field 18, haven't decided. But field 18 also needs ploughing, that's going to have to be done too. Alright, let's put my foot down a little bit. Oh, no, there's a car coming. Oh. Maybe I should have put that on there. Uh, All wheel steering. Anyway. Um, yeah, it needs ploughing, so I'm going to get a cultivate plough and I will um, cultivate it with a cultivate plough. It'll give me the ploughing state, but a cultivated look. Um, and I just find there cheaper alternatives. I, you know, I don't always get on very well with the regular ploughs, if that makes sense. Um, right, cover off. So we do have quite a few silage bales here waiting to go. Okay. Let's get our ramp down. Like so. And we want sheep. Did I have all white last time? I can't remember what I got. Ooh, that's a good point. Or did I get sheep black and white? You know what? I'm going to have to check that. Uh, sheep black and white I've got. Okay. So sheep black and white. Let's load this up. I think it takes 14... I assume so. Yeah, we'll just go with that. That's pretty packed in, isn't it? That's like Tetris. Sheep Tetris. Okay. Like I say, I'm not going to fill it up. I'm not going to take it right up to 80. But close to, to allow for new births. Rather splendid. The expansion is going well. Looking good. Make sure I don't drive into the crop. That would be that would be bad. Ramps down. So let's move them into the farm. Confirm. That's going to be getting pretty packed in there now, I think. Yeah, just a bit. So, how many do we have now? 66. Hmm, like I say, I wanted, didn't want to go much above maybe 70, 72. I need some more water and some more hay. That's no problem, I can do that. Right, so what I'm going to do now is um, go and get, I think... I'm going to get four more. I'm going to take it to 70. Yeah, I'm going to do that. Then I'll do the water and the... Uh, 
the hay to make sure they're all right but we have come to the end of another episode another very productive episode we've been incredibly busy the wool should start going at, not massively faster but it will go up slightly faster and then once we've got a full trailer i've got six pallets on here i'll take that to be sold um yeah not bad at all i hope you've enjoyed this episode if you have give us a like if you don't subscribe yet please do if you want to leave a comment feel free and if you want to share this video then please be my guest whatever you should choose to do thanks for watching